When I wake up, I love to give love. And yes, my dog is the first one to wake up with me, so she gets a kiss. I then go over and kiss my wife, tell her I love her, and tell her it's time to wake up. And I always try to send at least one message out in the morning to one family member to let them know I'm thinking about them and I love them. So why do this first thing in the morning? Why send out these messages? Why do I kiss a dog? Because guys, when you give love, even to an animal, guess what? It comes right back at you. And all of a sudden, you feel better about yourself. You feel loved. The exception to this rule is cats. My cat doesn't give a shit about me. Next up, I'm grabbing a drink. First up, I'm drinking a full glass of water. After that, I'm moving on to coffee. Love my coffee in the morning and I set it up as a reward, something actually I can enjoy with my wife. I have coffee with creamer, with what is it, half and half, a little bit of coconut sugar. Absolutely love it. I go a little bit fancy in the coffee because I set up a time in which I can actually enjoy drinking the coffee with my wife. Past 10 o'clock though, no caffeine in my body. I'm going for red tea and I drink quite a bit of it. Actually find, you know, it's relatively healthy. Put a little bit of honey in there and again, for me, this is how I'm going to get most of my water. And yes, I know that straight water is probably better for me than the tea with a little bit of honey, but guys, I'm working on it. I'm getting in my liquids. The next part of my miracle morning, I serve. And that's a fancy way of saying that I do the dishes. I put in a load of laundry and I start breakfast. So every morning I spend about 30 to 45 minutes cleaning, organizing, and getting my kids ready for the day. Now, a lot of guys may be saying, ah, oh, that's a woman's job, or I'm glad I don't have kids. That's a bunch of BS. A real man invests in his family and he's not above doing the lowliest jobs in his household. And I have to admit, I kind of enjoy this dead time in the morning in which I'm prepping breakfast and scrubbing pants. Why? because I get to listen to my favorite books on Audible. Audible is the sponsor of today's video and I've been talking about them for years because I love this service. With Audible, you get access to the best selection of audiobooks in the world. When it comes to audiobooks, they've got the best sellers. They've got mysteries, they've got motivation, they've got memoirs, they've got autobiographies. I love that they've got a great selection of business books because that's mostly what I'm listening to. So the book I'm listening to right now is Clockwork by Mike Michalowicz. So as a business owner, what I love is I can hear this guy talking about how you should truly run a business. He's ran multiple businesses. He has worked with hundreds, if not thousands of business owners. So I'm sitting there doing dishes, prepping breakfast, but really I'm actually back in school. I am learning from the best right here as I'm just simply getting things done. Another audiobook I'm loving, Ultra Learning by Scott Young. If you're not familiar with the concept, it's basically you can pick up a number of very difficult skills in a short amount of time by actually learning them the correct way. This information is readily available to you and that's what I love about Audible. You could listen to it anywhere, anywhere that you can take your phone, anywhere that you've got an electronic device, you can be listening to the audiobook. Now, when you sign up for Audible, what you get are three titles every single month. You get one audiobook from their entire selection and then you get two Audible originals, which you can't get anywhere else. Audible members also get access to their audio fitness programs so you can start the year off on the right foot. And even if you cancel your membership, you've still got access to your audiobooks right here in the app. Use that link down in the description. It's the best deal you're going to find out there for the first three months. You get over 50% off. To get started, gentlemen, go to audible.com slash armrs or text armrs to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash armrs or text armrs to 500-500. Next up, I journal. Or to be more honest, I try to journal. I probably only journal about 25 percent of the time. But if you think about it, in a year, that's still 90 times I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write in a journal, in a planner, and I'm going to actually think through my day. That is better than nothing. Most of the time though, what I'm doing is I'm simply taking a sheet of paper, I'm either writing down a to-do list or I'm building out a priority matrix. Every day, I just find that writing it down and thinking through after I've been listening to my audiobooks, I've been moving around, all of a sudden, okay, I'm writing down what I'm going to accomplish. When I write this down, what I love is then I can go back in and cross it out. If I'm going to do a to-do list, I make sure it's a micro to-do list. I've talked about this before, but the idea is to break out all the small things so you feel good. You feel the accomplishment of actually being able to mark them off. And with the priority matrix, I focus in on what is urgent and what is important. Those are the most important things. And then the not urgent, but still important. And then everything I put down here, I pretty much put it down because I know I need to ignore that non-important stuff. Next up, we've got exercise. You got to get the heart going. You need to get the body moving. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I fell off the exercise wagon earlier this year. In fact, I didn't just fall off. I think I fell under the wagon and I got ran over a few times. Point being is I'm now just getting right back into this. So for me, burpees in my living room. Yes, it's not as good maybe as going to the gym and lifting weights. The point is you got to get started somewhere. And that's what I would emphasize. Even if you're just doing a couple push-ups a day, 
Yeah, you know, at the end of the year, he maybe only done 365 push-ups, but that's 365 more than the guy that did nothing. And let's talk about motivation. I find that having a great playlist, no matter how cheesy, is just makes the workout so much better. And if you're wondering about my cheesy workout music, I will link to it down in the description. Now, the next part of my miracle morning, and this doesn't happen every morning, but when it does, it's amazing. I get out and go for a walk. Oftentimes, it's just simply taking the dog. My wife sometimes beats me. She takes the dog out. Point is, is getting out there, especially when the weather is not good, when the snow's on the ground and it's cold outside and it's still dark outside. It's great to go out there because you have that fresh air. It is clean and nothing really resets the mind, like simply being out in nature. I happen to live in a small town and we've got nature all around us. Even if you're in a city though, going to a park, just simply walking around and being around others and getting in some of that fresh air. That is key, guys. Now, in the book, Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, which by the way, you can grab over at Audible, a link to it down in the description. He talks about silence, he talks about affirmations, and he talks about visualizations and how important this is to his morning. I have to admit that I haven't fully incorporated this. I do occasionally have silence, but it's almost on accident. And maybe when I'm journaling and I'm writing, I'm actually, you know, affirming what I believe in, but I don't always go really long term, although it depends on what journal I'm using. And then the visualizations, that's thinking about and imagining your end goal and where you want to be. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Any of you guys meditate and how has that been for you? I've tried it. I've stopped stopped it. I've tried it. I've stopped it. I want to get back into it. And that is going to be for me the three things which I want to add to my miracle morning so that I can start getting more out of my days. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, Antonio, what time do you wake up? What time do you start your miracle morning? 5 a.m. And if you just said, oh my gosh, that's way too early. Guys, go check out this video, how to wake up at 5 a.m. Even if you're not a morning person, why are mornings so productive? Because guys, no one's calling you at five o'clock in the morning with their problems. You have time for yourself. And I get into how you can start waking up early in this video right here.